Hello everybody, in this video I will show you some interesting facts about a zero point in the magnetic field of magnet arrays that are aligned so that the magnets are all facing towards the center. And I will show you this with several different magnet and magnet arrays. And I will make this video step by step, so with each array that I show you, I will later show you with an electromagnet array that is fed with an AC current. And yeah, just to get more clarity on the topic, I will first show you this with several magnet arrays and then with this electromagnet array. Also at the end of the video, I will announce the winner of last week's giveaway. So stay tuned for that if you participated in that. So first off, let's put aside the electromagnet array and we will start with a simple ring magnet that I have here. And I will just quickly show you what this light looks like under magnetic viewing film. So this is just a regular ring magnet. And of course, if I just take a compass, you will see we have North Pole on one side and South Pole on the other side. Then we also have, uh, where do you have it? Yeah, here you have it. This is uh, just a larger ring magnet. As you can see, it is also just a regular um, axially magnetized ring magnet with North Pole on one side and South Pole on the other. And what is interesting with these um, ring magnets is that at the center point there is no magnetic flux. And what happens if, if you put just this ring magnet inside of the other one we can um, put them inside here with let's see we have north pole on this side and also north pole on this side so right here they're repelling but i can force them into here it's a bit tricky to do on camera but i will try my best to get it inside and if they're aligned here in the center just like this, it will stay in the center, at least if I don't let go of it. Right at the center, it's neither repelled or attracted, so you can force it in there in this direction. Also, if I remove it again, like this, and just flip it around 180 degrees, I can also put it in the center like this, and it will also stay in the center. So, since these are all focused to the center point, I can do this regarding of the polarity. And what is also interesting is, I can do the same with this half sphere or also a sphere array. So what I have here is just a spherical or half sphere array with five millimeter cube magnets. And here I have just a regular sphere magnet that is encased in a 3D printed copper yeah, holder. I will just show you this underneath a magnetic viewing film. So this is just a regular sphere magnet. You can see with the compass, um, on one side we have south, on the other north. So just like a regular magnet. And with this half sphere array, all of these magnets are facing north pole to the center, as you can see here. So what do you think happens if I just take this magnet with, um, let me show you this with the compass. We also have north pole here on this side and north pole here. I can just push it inside. At first it gets of course repels because they have the same polarity. But if I put it inside of here, you can see the magnet stays at the center point just fine, even though they're of the same polarity. Doesn't flip out. If I now take the same sphere magnet, reverse it, so we have now north and south, they're attracted up until here, and I also can place it inside, and it also stays in the center just like with the ring magnets that I showed you before. So it doesn't matter which polarity these two magnet or magnet arrays are, as long as you place them in the center, 
or yeah, the focus point of the magnetic field, the polarity doesn't matter and they will stay at the center. Of course, um, um, you have to have this printer or this, this 3D printed holder. So it is guided here in this hole. Otherwise, of course, it would just be attracted to one of these magnets. So it, if you just take the bare spear magnet, it doesn't like float in the center or anything like that. That is not possible with magnets that you get a stable equilibrium. So, yeah, um, this is just to show you what comes later in the video. And what I'm going to show you next is the same thing with this um, electromagnet array. And this is just connected to an audio amplifier. I showed you this in an earlier video from last week. But what I'm going to show you now is that right at the center point, um, yeah, basically there is no current induced into another coil. And this is just um, also an electromagnet coil and where I have connected two LEDs to it. These are the same electromagnets that I used here. And with this electromagnet array, I have four of them connected in series in the same polarity. So basically, um, all of these four electromagnets are facing in the same direction with the same polarity. I will just quickly show you um, with this array, it's the same as this one, just with permanent magnets, what the field of it looks like. So with these, um, all south poles are facing to the center and this equals a field that is south pole on the top of here and also south pole here. I will just show you this with a compass, south pole here, if I flip it, south pole is here. Of course on the outside it's all north pole. And the same happens here. Now I will just turn on the electromagnet array. It's currently driven at a frequency of 155 hertz. It's just a frequency that's resonating well with this coil. So the LEDs light up quite bright when I do this experiment that I show you now. So as I have it here, the LEDs don't light up yet unless I bring them in here. And you can see the LEDs light up if I have them in here. If I put it just to the center, the LEDs go dim. They don't light up at all. If I push it down further again, you will see the LEDs light up again. The center, nothing. Up here, they will light up again. So I hope you can get an idea of what I want to show you here. This is just a quick demonstration. Also, if I just, um, let me just, it's a bit tricky to get it here on camera. I will just put this in here so the LEDs light up and show you this under the magnetic viewing film. And yeah, you can see that the center iron core gets um, magnetized by the field. And now let me turn it off again. What I'm going to do next is I will place this electromagnet array inside of also a half sphere. This is a slightly larger one that I showed you before. Um, with this one, all of these magnets are also just facing south pole to the center. And remember what I showed you before with the small array, when all the magnets are facing in the same direction, we have same polarity on each side. So the same thing happens with this electromagnet, but of course, since I um, connected it to an AC source, the polarity will of course constantly flip. But now I will just put it inside of here and when I turn it on again, um, yeah, let me turn down the frequency a bit so you can get a better visualization. Now I'm at the frequency of 15 hertz and as you can see it's shaking like crazy even though the power level is quite low that I'm driving it. And yeah, you can see from a distance of here, 
the, the, yeah, the vibration or the shaking of course is quite strong but what happens now if I put it right to the center point inside of here so nothing happens it's not repelled or attracted because this the field of this array is also aligned with the center point of the magnet array and therefore it's neither repelled or attracted if i turn up the power level even more you will see there is a slight there is a repel and uh, it is repelled and attracted so it is shaking but not really strong i can literally just put one finger very slightly on there and you yeah it stays at the center point with no effort compared to when i just lift it up a few millimeters it is shaking like crazy just put it to the center nothing and yeah that's that's a really interesting phenomenon i think that when you align certain magnets or magnet arrays just with the center point of the magnetic field that the polarity um, actually doesn't play a big role and that they stay aligned and they are not attracted or repel it's like the center of a tornado there is no force and another thing that i think is really interesting is that if i just turn it on again and you can see the wires they have a bright vibrating also at the same frequency because they yeah their fields are repelling but what's interesting is if i just put my finger in there i can actually feel the yeah the field pulsing so you might see my my, my, my finger is slightly shaking that's actually because I, I can feel the field with my finger. I haven't experienced this before with any other magnet or magnet array like this. So that's a really interesting effect. I don't know if that's only me that can experience this because I'm quite sensitive to magnetic fields. But actually I can feel the pulsing of the field within the tip of my finger when I put it inside here. Which is, yeah, <laughs> a really, really interesting effect, I think. So this was just a quick demonstration to show you um, this effect of magnetic fields aligning at the zero point of the field. Um, let me know in the comments if you have some interesting ideas of what I can do about this. Also, what I have tried is... Um, I've just taken two of these half spheres of opposite polarities and placed this coil inside or this electromagnet array inside of the center point. That's also why I added this tape so it can stay right at the center. And I still have to do more experiments with it. I will show you this in a future video. Um, so that's it for now for this video and we will just end it with the giveaway that i announced in my last video and i will just pick a winner that will win this water structuring device so i have here my tablet and loaded it up already with um, a website called common picker and it will just pick a random comment and this will be the winner of the water clearing device. So, hopefully this does work. I maybe have to pause the video to start this again because yeah, I will just, okay. I had to reload the page, sorry for that. So now let's see and the winner is Tom F9874. So congratulations. Please send me an email. Um, my email address is in the video description. And also leave a comment under this video so I know that it is you that sent this email. And yeah, congratulations. And 
that's the end of this video so thanks for watching have a nice day and goodbye